So we are in an interesting position at the moment whereby the mining sector historically has always been a major contributor to climate change and our carbon footprints. And we're now relying on it again to get us out of that same situation. The mining sector is fundamental for us to achieve net zero. I mean, it's always been the building blocks for society through the provision of aggregates and critical materials. And it continues to be the case. It's just evolving very rapidly in what materials are demanded and why they are needed. The mining sector provides the materials we need to provide the construction and infrastructure that we need to adapt our actual physical environment, our built environment. And it's also needed to build the technologies that we rely on to decarbonize our energy systems, our products, the day-to-day -day items that we rely on. The mining industry faces significant challenges related to the increased demand for critical materials. The demand for critical materials is expected to increase by about 500% over the next couple of decades as we increase our demand for decarbonizing the energy sector in particular, alongside other technologies which we rely on to decarbonize other sectors as well, such as transport and logistics, energy and infrastructure. And meeting that demand will be incredibly difficult without the creation of either more mining or improvements in the efficiency with which we handle those materials. We need to prioritise two things to help decarbonise the mining sector. The first are actions that the mining sector can take responsibility for themselves, which is to improve the measurement and management of their own carbon emissions through the activities and processes that take place on site and being transparent in, in how those are reported to support uh, sectors further down the supply chain and the value chain. And the other thing that we can think about to help enable the mining sector with that as well is the way in which we treat and re uh, react with those materials through the way that we use them. So rather than designing for function, design for uh, ESG purposes in mind first and then create solutions around that. We are going from having outsourced of our mining and shutting down our mines back 50 years ago in the 20th century to now looking at reintroducing those mines and creating domestic supply chains again. And they are also helping to underpin all the technologies that we need to build a decarbonized net zero society too. So it's a very interesting closed circle narrative really for the mining sector. We've always needed the mining sector. We continue to rely on the mining sector and our relationship with that sector is evolving rapidly and the architecture of our lifestyles is evolving rapidly, but the mining sector always stays. The circular economy I think is an essential toolkit for the mining sector. And this is because it encourages the uh, abandonment of the use for new materials, as well as abandoning the creation of waste. A lot of the emissions related to the mining sector come from the energy intensivity and carbon intensivity of those mining processes and activities themselves. So by reducing our reliance on new materials, we can decarbonize at an extreme rate. And this is where the circular economy comes in by being able to recover used materials, reuse and repair, and keep critical materials in play for a lot longer.